Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of uh, Trombone First Aid. Today I'm talking about uh, buzzing with the mouthpiece. We play trombone holding it by the left hand. Same thing we should do with the mouthpiece, with the left, not with the right. And I have to say I'm not a big fan of practice, practicing the mouthpiece but I found it quite useful to have a better control over low register, lip vibration and uh, airflow. Whenever I start with the mouthpiece, I play a tune, easy one, that I can easily memorize and uh, mostly in the mid-low range, not using the tongue, and always doing big glissatos to encourage airflow. Whenever you have to breathe, you can repeat the same note so you can connect all the notes in your melody not to, la not to let holes so you can notice if there is a particular problem in a specific range then you could use other exercises to go uh, gradually lower and to check where actually there is a problem <laughs> Normally, if you encounter uh, difficulties, I would suggest you to use a 12-13 centimeters long rubber gum pipe. You could find it in your garden probably. Uh, just cut a piece which is not longer than 13 centimeters and apply it to the end, to the chunk of the, the mouthpiece. This will uh, give you some extra resistance. So it will be a bit easier for you to control the low register and to spend less air. So if you find big difficulty, I recommend you to, to use it. In the end, it's very similar to using the inner pipe of the slide. So if you remove the outer slide and you just uh, blow without thinking about buzzing in the mouthpiece, some sound will just come out. So just pressing a bit the mouthpiece on your lips, the flow of air, just like you're blowing on a candle for a birthday cake, it will produce a buzz. At the very beginning, don't try to control it. Just let the most natural sound come out of the, the slide. This is the base of buzzing, which is very, very important. I live in Switzerland. Sometimes the, the air is very cold and dry. So when I have to go to rehearsals or concerts, the first thing I do is this. <laughs> Just blowing in the inner slide, my lips will find their natural way to vibrate and this will let the blood start uh, irritating my muscles. So it will just be a natural way, a very easy way to produce buzzing without thinking about any tension, any effort. And this is what you should recreate when you play only the mouthpiece. In those 
exercise going uh, slowly down and low in the register you should uh, look yourself uh, at a mirror and watch what you are actually doing normally when you go low you should let you should allow your lips to go a bit in this direction inside the the cap and not on the other way so uh, it's inward cap not outward and your jaw could be a bit more open just to to find this o shape but not too much if you have problems and you notice that you are doing opposite movements actually this is probably the reason why you cannot go low so be careful to let more meat enter the the mouthpiece and open a bit your mouth to let more air through actually it's not a big movement just slightly open and slightly out but if you can reduce it and obtain a nice sound that's perfect but you do the if you do the opposite then probably that's the reason why you're not very happy about your sound <sighs> When you play the mouthpiece, don't be afraid of blowing or over, even over blowing. Having a very dry bass is not healthy. Maybe you can be um, attracted by this because you can control this vibration and you find the pitch. But if you play like this with the instrument, the sound will be very ugly. Actually, when you play with the instrument, you require some air to go through without really uh, producing a very audible buzz because the trombone will uh, produce some vibration by itself. That's why I said I'm not going to practice long the mouthpiece because I don't want to be able to play the mouthpiece uh, as it was a standalone instrument, but I want to improve my technique on the trombone. Always try to encourage flexibility and an elastic response of your lips when you play the mouthpiece. That's why I recommend just glissato and not tongue at all. And um, be careful, especially going down, that your corners are really well uh, fixed and the upper and lower lip are quite relaxed. So they can freely vibrate while the corners are tight the shape of a mouthpiece is round the shape of our mouth is mostly horizontal so corners are really important to keep our vibration centered on the other side we should not lock the upper and lower lip because they are they must be free to vibrate so just pay attention in the corner and not too much uh, strength in the upper and lower lip when we play just the mouthpiece or even with the, the pipe we do some extra movements which we don't with the uh, instrument because uh, this extra resistance is letting us um, behave with our muscles in a different way so this is like a magnifier to see if there is a problem but you cannot see the complete scenario just with the mouthpiece so practice when you need to focus on particular problems and not for long short sessions maybe five minutes and you can repeat it uh, twice or three times a day but not much longer otherwise then you start using other muscles which you are not required to use when you play trombone and this extra effort will somehow make your sound not so nice thank you very much for watching this video if you liked it please thumb up and uh, subscribe my channel if you have any comment or question just write it down below thank you again and have a nice day